we are going to learn about integers in this video and clear all the confusion around it basically integers comprises of positive numbers negative numbers and whole numbers we are going to see other names given to positive numbers and negative numbers shortly consider the number line zero is a neutral point if we consider counting from one and move towards this direction which is towards the positive infinity we can also represent it as plus x this arrow indicates that this continues to infinity all the numbers from one to infinity is known as positive numbers we can also call them counting numbers these numbers can also be called positive integers we can also call them non-negative integers and we can also call them natural numbers you see you can use any of these names to represent all the numbers from one to infinity next instead of counting from one if we decide to count from zero towards this direction just the inclusion of zero we change all these names to become whole numbers next if we calibrate from minus one and move towards this direction which is towards the negative infinity we can also represent this as minus x all the numbers from minus one towards the negative infinity are simply known as negative numbers or negative integers why do we call positive numbers counting numbers positive integers non-negative integers natural numbers there was a time when people do not believe in nothing void or zero in counting to them how can you include zero in counting cows or counting goods for example even kids naturally counts from one zero was disputed because it wasn't natural counting objects from zero before teaching students integers use positive numbers or counting numbers or natural numbers however after teaching students integers use positive integers or non-negative integers in addition before teaching students integers use negative numbers but after teaching students integers use negative integers the use of any of these names will be dependent on the age of the class you are teaching if they have not learned the negative part of the number line simply maintain numbers like positive numbers or natural numbers in the family tree we have complex numbers at the top real numbers are inside complex numbers real numbers is made up of two families these are rational numbers and irrational numbers rational numbers have integers and integers comprises of three different families which are natural numbers whole numbers and negative numbers and natural numbers can be called positive numbers or counting numbers or non-negative numbers or positive integers also negative numbers can be called negative integers this is the entire family tree but in this video we just concentrated on integers 
and the remaining analysis is on a separate video understanding this is very important as well as how to represent them on the number line i believe this was helpful to continue learning about the number line watch categories of even numbers and odd numbers in the next video